Uh, first and foremost, so we're all on the same page here, Caleb did split his pants. Um, just want to let you guys know that. I'm not going to spare him that. I owe it to him. I'm the best man. Anyone, any right best man would do so. Um, yes. And, and if you know Caleb, he's got an absolute dump truck, right? And, and if you don't know what that is, if you don't know what that is, he's got a big butt, right? Just in layman terms. And that happens to be, yes, yes. And that happens to be one of my favorite qualities about Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, you're, you're going to look at your beautiful wife and you're going to say to her, just like this, yes, dear, you're right, I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. Yes, dear, <laughs> yes, dear you're right, I'm wrong, and you're so I'm sorry. <laughs> Fast forward to June 2020, um, Dan and I spent a lot of time sitting in the car listening to music because it was a global pandemic. Um, and we were listening to music and she just hits me with, Caleb's going to be my husband. And I was like, okay. So I put it on my calendar, Caleb's going to be my husband day. And here we are. Caleb is in fact her husband. <laughs> Friends, we are here today to celebrate and hopefully make it through the ceremony without crying the entire time. Mm. We're going to celebrate the transformation of two lives becoming one. From our earliest recordings of people interacting with God, we see marriage described as a man and a woman becoming one flesh, inseparable, no longer him and her, but a new unit together. Dear C, the day has finally come, the day I get to take your name and call you my husband. I'm so excited to see all of, our, all of our tears, sweat, and hard work come together in this beautiful event. Everything is going to be absolutely perfect, just because you will be standing by my side. I'm so excited to see where life will take us as husband and wife. <laughs> I know our future holds so many adventures, trips, snacks, laughs, tears, failures, and triumphs, but I can't imagine having a better partner to do life with. I can't even begin to process how lucky I am to do this life with you. I can't wait to be your wife. I love you forever. Love always, Daniel. After seeing his determination and success in all areas, I stopped questioning, questioning him, and <clears throat> I never once <laughs> questioned him when it came to you. <laughs> uh, you were in many ways like his mother. 
And I know she would have been Team Danielle 100%. But in all seriousness, I would like to start um, with my best friend in the whole world, Danielle. Um, I'm super thankful for you. And um, just when you came into my life and you started um, dating Caleb, um, you made every effort to get to know me. And it was authentic. Um, it was true. And it was because Caleb loved me. And you, you loved what Caleb loved. And I appreciate that. Danielle reflected Anna in many ways, in many ways that she loved Caleb, and I see that written all over, and she would be incredibly proud of you right now. Um, she is incredibly proud, and can't wait for an eternity um, with her. Um, it's going to be a party in itself. Um, but yeah, I'm super thankful that you came into my life, and I know that our friendship will last forever, and so I'm thankful for that. Um, now for someone who I consider the greatest person, and no, no laughing here, the greatest person in, in the entire world. He is so gracious, so loving, so supportive, um, and I've given him many reasons not to be. And um, the way he loves reflects Christ in every single way, in every capacity. And um, yeah, I could not um, be any more grateful. Um, he's an absolute godsend in my life, and I love him with all my heart. And so I'm glad that there's someone that loves you almost as much as I love you, man. Almost. you deserve nothing but the best in the world you're literally the best person i've ever met everyone that you meet can testify to your kindness um and you're just so sweet you're literally a, a light in everybody's life um anyone that meets you knows that and or can see you and you radiated so much of it today um you're so beautiful and i love you so much uh, and you will go through a lot of hardships um and i know that but you've already gotten through the biggest ones that Caleb has an android, so, um... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Look, if, if she... <laughs> Listen... If she can love you through that, she can love you through anything, okay? <laughs> You guys just love everyone around you so well, it overflows. And so I pray that um, you continue to have that effect on everyone's lives and more people that you encounter, all right? Cheers to unconditional love. When you get in fights, and you will get in fights. Uh, the tendency is to want to win. Those heated discussions to prove that the other person is wrong. And we think in order to win, our spouse has to lose. If your spouse loses, your team loses. And I don't just mean that when you make them mad, you have to live in their house with them uh, and experience the consequences of that day in and day out. But uh, what I mean is that when Caleb fails, Caleb and Danielle fail. And when Danielle hurts, Caleb and Danielle hurt. Be one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility, consider each other better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of the other. Danielle, this all started from a thought that I had had about you when I first met you. There's something different about you, I had thought. A difference I am now glad I get to embrace forever, and differences I get to love and cherish as I do life with you. Something I wish my mom could have seen in person, <laughs> tangibly on this earth today, although I know she is watching in heaven with the biggest grin on her face. Danielle and I took our first like official roomie trip and like big girl trip by ourselves internationally in 2019 in December. We went to Paris um, and 
It was literally going up in the Eiffel Tower that she told me about Caleb. She totally downplayed it, first of all. She was like, oh, like, I don't know, like, there's this guy, and he's, like, cute, and he has a car, he let me ride in it. I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then as I see her, like, messaging him the entire time, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like this might be something more. I'm so proud. <laughs> to be your friend and to be your friend and to be here celebrating with you and celebrating you because you deserve to be celebrated. But I'm just really grateful and I love you so much. <laughs> and now you're gonna break from me because you have Caleb. <laughs> Cheers. I vow to never take you whale watching <laughs> unless you have a change of heart. <laughs> I vow to show up for you. I vow to grow old with you. I vow to cherish and comfort you. I vow to love you until death do his part. I vow to lead you like Christ leads this church. I give you this promise. I love you, Danielle, Nicole Hernandez. And I look forward to loving you for many more years to come. Caleb, I promise to always point you back to truth and love. I pray that when the world seems a little too busy and broken, that I can be personified evidence of the Lord's faithfulness to you. I promise to make you laugh on your hardest days and cry with you on your saddest. I promise my grip will never waver, that I'll always stand firm in our love and commitment to one another. You point me back to truth, remind me of grace, carry my burdens, laugh with me and hold every tear in your hand. When I see you, I know I see evidence of Jesus a tangible love that personifies the Lord. Through sickness and health, I vow to care for you and I vow to never leave your side. I promise to love you wholly and completely for all the days of my life. I will never understand what I did to deserve you as my husband, but I will spend every day for the rest of my life thanking the Lord for his goodness and faithfulness to us. Bruno Major said it best, I was dangerously tangled the second time that I met you, and now I'm so impatient to adore you. I love you, Caleb. To Caleb, as a ceaseless reminder of this hour and the vows taken, Caleb, place this ring on Daniel's left ring finger. Place this ring on Caleb's left ring finger. Now that Caleb and Danielle have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witness, and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> May God guide you and bless you. Draw close to him and each other in all situations. Here. I love you both so much. Um, cheers to the bride and groom, my best friend and her best friend. Cheers to love. <laughs>